St. Louis has one of the fastest growing tech startup scenes in the country, and it's at the top of the list for tech startup funding. In this segment, we take you inside the startup scene. This month, we feature a company called TapTL that's taking touchscreen technology to a whole new level. Interactive and transparent, St. Louis and Mary Wolf says the future is clear. And she's been on the road telling the world. So we were in San Francisco last week and this is our display. It's a transparent touchscreen display called TapTL. Wolf is co-founder. This is an interactive, transparent display. Um, you can think of it as a giant iPad that can also be used as a window. So the applications for this are truly endless. You can use it as a monitor, like I'm doing right now, um, and all the functionality that goes along with that. Um, and you can also use it to watch TV or for navigational purposes. So for example, right now we're selling to yachts because they're in need of a product that saves space and energy. Um, so if you can imagine this in the helm of a ship and you're approaching an island, you could actually detect information on that island through our software partnerships. Wolf says her display is different from any other. She says her product is the first LCD transparent touchscreen glass monitor. Our competition has been focusing on OLED, which many people have seen the curved screens. Um, OLED does not need a backlight. Uh, it lights itself, which is why our competition believes that it can be transparent, which is where we come in. Because LCDs, which is just the raw panel itself, is actually transparent or transmissive in nature. So light would pass through. The problem is it doesn't light up unless you have a strong enough light source to illuminate the content on the display. So by creating a transparent backlight and focusing on LCDs, we've actually been able to differentiate ourselves and that's our competitive advantage. So the transparent backlight is, yes, it uses the ambient light, but it also, we have LEDs along the display. Um, the LEDs are shooting up into this light guide and making the display viewable. The general idea for transparent touchscreen displays have been around for some time now. 14 years ago, the sci-fi thriller Minority Report was released. The character played by actor Tom Cruise has the use of transparent displays down to an art, as do the others. But turning science fiction into reality takes money and a lot of it. A monitor this size costs about $10,000, which is why Wolf is targeting yacht owners. She's trying to get luxury yacht builders to come aboard. Just as the display can become part of the glass in the yacht's architecture, Wolf says the same concept can be applied to retrofit tap TL displays into the windows of an office building. Imagine your office window a touch screen as a means of interacting with others in the room, which Wolf says is better than people crowding around your desk looking over your shoulder at the computer screen. A window one minute, a 4K Ultra HD touchscreen display the next. Wolf says another goal is to sell the displays to retail stores. In this video, TapTL gives us a glimpse into what it hopes will become the future of digital signage. According to Wolf, Beacons are embedded in the displays to connect to smartphones. This allows direct advertising and coupons to be pushed through Bluetooth technology. Wolf says other proximity marketing features are included to directly communicate with passerbys. This is also a concept seen on the big screen. John Anderson, you could use a Guinness right about now. But Wolf says she's catching up with science fiction from years ago. She even has an idea for self-driving cars. Really, this can be used anywhere throughout a vehicle, um, and that's the exciting part. Because we're not 100% transparent, though, we can't be used as a windshield. So the areas that we're currently pushing will be um, a sun visor and a roof. There's going to be a huge need for entertainment purposes. So. What we're also setting up is a way to use this as an entertainment window. Um, so there will be applications that you can use or advertisements that will play in order to fund the self-driving car itself. And Wolf offers what she calls practical applications for the home. Kind of Imagine um, if you are a mother or a father and you want to watch your kids out back, but you also want to cook. 
Um, with this, imagine that you have this as your window and you can watch your kids playing outside, but you can also use it to read recipes or to watch TV. The display can become part of a wall between rooms. Let's say you want to watch your TV show or ball game, but you don't want what's behind to show through. All you have to do is change the setting, which increases the brightness. Wolf says the future looks bright. I think the future is also moving towards solar powered glass, right? So something that could power your entire house through the glass. Um, and even though that's probably five to 10 years away for even prototype, like working prototypes, um, eventually we will be able to use the glass to power itself. Until then, Wolf says the display's low energy consumption is a huge plus. The typical 47 inch TV consumes anywhere from 40 to 80 watts. Um, this display uses anywhere from 10 to 20. Um, and the reason we're able to do that is because of our transparent backlight, which is really what makes our product unique. Um, that's what we have our patents pending on. And we are able to capture the ambient light and use that to boost the image in the colors um, the same way a backlight would. But because we're using that ambient light, we don't need as many LEDs to light it up.